We just took a blood oath right now. Yeah, yeah. cut the yeah. Spit on it. Now I just. Oh, you want to cut the, the cut? actual blood oath? Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are here with the coolest white guy I know, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, we haven't done that channel for a while. No, we we haven't know. done this in a little while. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, you know, we just been out there. You've been too busy, man. Not me. Any any new updates with you and your bike life? Any uh, no. No. Low rider's good. Treating you good now. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's okay. She's treating you good. She's not. It's getting serviced right now. I mean. Okay. But so, no, no, nothing's going wrong. No, yeah. no. But since I've been on the street guard, I'm enjoying that a lot more. Well, that's your baby. Yeah. You know? Anyway, so did a video talking about Harley Davidson getting rid of the uh, Evo, right? So no more Sportsters with Evo in it. Mm -hmm. So all we have now, or what we're going to have now and continue is the, uh, Red Max. is the night train, not the night train. Nightster. It's the Nightster. I keep saying, we keep talking about like, Yeah, because you talking about all this stuff. Yeah. Um, it's the Nightster with the Rev Max and, and the then. Sportster S. And the Sportster S and then some more bikes. I'm that sure there's new models coming out next gonna year. They're going to be coming out. Um, I gave my opinion to everybody, and you obviously saw that video mm -hmm. on how I feel. But I kind of I felt, I kind of feel like it, it, this should have been a, a discussion video now. Because mm -hmm. I kind of want to see your take on everything. And. Uh, yeah, like, what, 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 what do you think about Harley Davidson getting rid of the Sportsters with, with the Evils in it? Huh? I mean, it was inevitable. I mean, the, they've been creeping up the price on Sportsters, like we talked about this years ago. They've been creeping up the prices of the 883 and the 1200 to get you used to the new prices. But in my opinion, I've said it many, many, many times, the 883 is like a $6,000 bike. Tops, not twelve thousand dollars. It is to be to be honest. I mean, what when, when back when I first got my A eighty three in two thousand eighteen, that bike I got it for eighty six hundred dollars. Yeah, well, I've been around a long lot. Longer. How much is that bike now, though? That bike is like twelve thousand dollars. It's close. Like, yeah. it's, like, it's like ten something. Yeah, no, I think it's like twelve. I've seen them like twelve. I think in South Jersey, like sure. twelve thousand. I'm pretty sure. I think we have pictures of like twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, like we were at a Harley deal and it was like twelve thousand. It was crazy. I've been around for a long time. The Evo Sportster came out in 86. 1985 was the... the Year I, before I was had, born, baby. The Iron Head. That's when I was cooking the belly. <laughs> the Iron Head Sportster was 85. 86 was the brand new Evolution Sportster. Four speed, chain drive, 39.95 advertised. And my friend bought one right out of high school. He bought one and they only because Harley said, if you buy it for $39.95 and ride it for two years and trade up to a new bike, we'll give you the $39.95 you paid for the bike. Oh, was it that program that had uh, yeah. three years back? Yeah, but they did it in 86. So yeah. my friend's like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then two years, I'm going to buy an FXR. And then he loved the bike so much and he did so much to it that when the two years came, he's You're like, keep it. he goes, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it. Yeah. And he kept it way until the fucking, I mean, he did, he did like, took, he wound up in the 90s ripping the whole thing down, custom paint, engine, chromed. Uh, cams, all sorts of crazy shit, but it was still a four-speed, um, you know, chain drive. Then they progressed. Like I bought one in, I bought my first one was an '88, which was a four-speed '883. Then in 1991, they came out. I don't know you had an either. Yeah, I've had, I've had, a, I had a bunch of bikes, a bunch of Sportsters. Ninety. One in a hundred, my my hundredth bike now. Yeah, 60, 62. <laughs> in 1992, I bought a brand new 883 which was the first year of the five-speed. What color was it? Black. So it was 883, five-speed, but it was chain, but I converted it to Bell. So, so that was 1990, yeah, 92. But, and then they, then every year they did incremental stuff. Like in 96, they changed the switches to the ones we have today. Yeah. The style that was 1996. It was like little by little, they kept and they kept know, doing electronics and building the bikes up. Like I said, they went from four speed to five speed, from chain drive to belt drive. Um, they've done a bunch of different stuff. Then they went rubber mounted in 2004. Yeah, so I mean, they, they've progressed the bikes along, but with that, the prices have gone 
astronomically. Yeah, I mean, in in the past two years, they they've gone up a lot, and and yeah. the, and the thing is that nothing changed on it. No, you know, it's and, all profit, and, and even right before. You know, they were still making profit before because the bikes before the shortages yeah. that have happened in the last year or mm -hmm. two, the prices were already going up. Yeah. But it's like, and we we had right after discussion. you bought your bike, yeah, the prices started going. So yeah. if you didn't buy yours when you did, you would have bought it. Well, later. It, was, it was like it was like it was like two years after. It was like twenty twenty when they first when when they started. Yeah, but you bought yours in nineteen or the end of eighteen. Or I bought it in eighteen. Yeah, but it was a nineteen. But it was a nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, but the twenty twenty models were a lot more money. Yeah, yeah. And that, that was before the shortages. But yeah. we sat here several times, and we, even off camera, we spoke about what you just said uh, about Harley Davidson trying to get people into into the higher prices. You yes. know, get bringing it up because obviously you adjust know, it to higher prices. Yeah, yeah. it's um, so and, and yeah, I posted the videos, and a lot of the comments, if you scroll through, are people talking about, well, what what's the entry level bike now? There is none. I mean, yeah, you 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 have the. Um, the nightster. the nightster, but right. it's well, when it comes to price point, it's what people are, are referring to as a starter it's, bike. Yeah, it's a lot more than let's say the eighty three that was eighty six hundred eight thousand dollars. Not for nothing. Now, this is what four fourteen thousand dollars now. No? Yeah, fourteen thousand dollars, and that's not out the door. I've heard the people are talking in California seventeen thousand out the door or whatever. I mean, taxes and fees. And yeah, it's and crazy. Free and this, and, and it's that. not an entry level bike. Number one, and even a sports there was never really an entry level bike because it was a heavy. You know, 883 cc bike. For a little bike, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's a big, heavy bike, and it was like 40 horsepower, 46 horsepower, 44 yeah. horsepower. The Nightster, 500 pounds. The Nightster is way more. Even the horsepower now on that's what almost 100. Yeah. Yeah, and on the Sports the rest, it's uh, it's it's substantially more. Those are not entry and level it's bikes. Lighter. It's a lighter bike. It's a more powerful bike. Faster revs, like you said, you rode you rode it out in California. I haven't ridden yeah. a Nightster, but I've ridden a Sports the rest, and Sports the rest. In sport mode at like three, four thousand more RPMs will rip your freaking arms off. Yeah. And I'm an experienced it's pretty, rider. It's a pretty powerful bike. Yeah, it's not an entry level bike. There is no entry level bike. They're hoping, I guess, well, to come out with a I'm, smaller. I'm talking about entry level bike as far as pricing. What what that people are thinking about? Well, if the 883 or even the 1200, what was the entry level bike when it comes to? What price is it one? now? But now they're saying the soft tail standard. It would be, it would be the, the entry level bike. Yeah. Which would make sense. But I've also seen that either I've seen a rumor and a mock-up of either it's going to be a standard. It looks like a cross between a standard and a um, street bob. So maybe they're getting rid of one of those. Well, and, technically a standard is kind of like a street Yeah. Bob. It's the same bike. Yeah. It's just stripped down more. Yeah. This one had a 114 in it, but it wasn't black. It, was, it had the silver on it. And it had a little bikini fairing kind of like that. It's a street bob. And it wasn't a street bob. Because the front end was a little uh, different. Like what a, you mean like what a Red Max in it? It was like a, a cross between. Like what a Red Max in it or? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, it was an M8. No. I mean, I mean, even going back to our discussion about the, how people feel like there's no entry level bike when it comes to price point. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I don't know this, but I think that the company is going to be making other bikes. Like I was saying before, like, all right, we, how many sports do we not have? We have the 83, we had the 1200, we had the 48, we oh, had yeah, the, we had a lot. The, 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 the iron, custom, iron 1200. To just, it was so, there was, like, ten, there was like eight of them, I think. So I'm pretty sure you now, had the custom. Yeah, the custom. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you had the touring now, one. There's going to be a lot of different ones, you know. There's at least going to be two models next year on top of the two models we already have. I'm thinking. Damn, that, Jerry, you, you got some inside scoop that I don't have? There's gonna be a, they got rid of they got rid of two models. They're gonna come out with at least two models. They're they're, they're coming out with. Some and, and I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm thinking that the Red Max is designed to go to like 500 CCs. So why not come out with a 500 CC for like eight thousand dollars, seventy nine ninety five somewhere around there, like kind of like a Nightster, but like a 500, and more like you know not as much tech. A smaller bike. Yeah. It's a smaller bike, cheaper. Just with like ABS, but no, no traction less control. Less power cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Less, yeah. Just less, That's less what you're probably going to see. I'm betting. If and, not next year, and, the year and, after. And that'll be, I'm assuming maybe around like that 10-ish. I, I would hope. I would not hope. Not more than 89. But with all the fees, uh, it'll I mean, be over 10. The 83 right now is like, it's how much is the 83 right like now? Like $12,000. Exactly. Yeah. So. So, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. But the right price for a 500, 
that would be acceptable. Like even people will, even some of your viewers will probably comment on this and say, even at eighty nine ninety five for a five hundred, it's not worth it. Yeah. But that would be the entry level to get you in because they don't have the Buells anymore. They don't have the Sportsters anymore. They need to get something. Like I said, the Nightster is not an entry level bike. It's not an entry level. Bike. I mean, let, let's talk about the Nightster real quick. Um, like, and I'll give you my feedback. I, I've been on the bike. Yeah, a you've few, ridden. I haven't ridden. I've been on the bike a few times. <clears throat> it's to me. I uh, I know a lot of people don't like it because it's new. Some people always hate what's new. Mm -hmm. They're not used to seeing it. Uh, you know, like the Pan American. Uh, you know, like I, I think it, it's a pretty cool looking bike. I think it looks great. It resembles what a Sportster kind of is. It's way different. I know people just don't like it because you know the tank is not a tank. It's an air box. Mm -hmm. They complain about that. They complain about the exhaust that you know, no matter what you're still gonna change it out. So who gives a shit? Um, and and it, but we, if if you take that away, if you look at it from a distance, you know, you, you kind of have the similarities. Well, the lines of the are there, there, and then the lines are there for a Sportster. Like the Sportster S, everybody's complaining about the big ass exhaust under the seat. V Twin Visionaries just came out with an exhaust that's under the, or they they showed it on their channel about an exhaust. It looks pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, I mean, a lot the people are going to come out with exhaust, obviously because the EPA and all this stuff. They can't give it to you from the factory. Yeah, that's what it is. But it's, it's like all oh, like uh, they say it looks like a leaf blower. Yeah. Uh, Har yeah, I mean I said that too. It does look like. But a leaf it's like blower. people say it's like oh like Harleys don't sound the same anymore or they they just different they, engines. They, they, it's not even that different engines. It's like dude, like they gotta do stuff to meet EPA standards. Yeah. They they can't sell bikes to sound or or perform the way they should because of these rules yeah. you know simple as that so it, it's up to the third market parties it's up to you us out there to make them sound to perform or look a certain way because that's the way they they by law they can't sell them yeah. a certain way you know yeah. and people just sometimes they overlook everything and they, they don't think about that and it's like dude like that's how that's how it is man unfortunately I mean People were saying like, oh. Meanwhile, uh, I, I saw a funny comment. Someone uh, that they were like, oh yeah, Harley's uh, Harley's doing this, but meanwhile, Dodge is over here making a, a seven hundred horsepower car. <laughs> Fucking demon is like. Yeah, crazy. but they're getting rid of the, yeah, the last I, I, hurrah. I, 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 this the, is the last twenty twenty three is gonna be the last, last year. Last hurrah for like challengers yeah. and chargers and yeah. stuff like that. But a lot of people were saying in you the comments. You saw the new though. Yeah. The normal? Yeah. yeah it's pretty well, cool. It's all right. It's all right. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's not something. And it's our electric. I, I won't buy it. But that's me. I'm not a Ford guy. Uh, I had Mustangs in the past, but that's not you know, that's not now. Well, um, another. What do you have? A hundred cars too? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is my seventy fifth car. It was like my 20, 20, 25 or thirty something like that. Because I've had like twenty cars. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say yeah. But I, I've had a lot of cars. Yeah. Um, that was a flying. He has a fly in here. A lot of people were saying because of the um, discontinuation of the Sportsters that they think prices will climb. No, I'm not too sure about that. No, there, there's thousands of Sportsters. Thousands, everywhere, like all over hundreds the world. of thousands, all over of the world. So it's like, you know, sometimes people are like, all right, well, damn, I'm gonna have to buy one. Yeah, I mean, if you want a brand new one, go buy one now. Yeah, yeah. but. Dude, the used market out there is so saturated. With them. So saturated Flooded with sportsers. And you can get some good deals, too. Yeah, hell yeah. You, there's people out there with sportsers with like from five, six, seven, ten years ago with like 800 miles on them, probably. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. Yeah. 700 miles on them. And, and they're, so, and they're under $5,000. Yeah. And they're, they're, you know, they're pretty cool bikes. They're, they're the type of bikes that you could chop up. I'm over here. Last time I was here making a video about it, I mean, they're looking at the picture. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I catch myself right now. Look at the picture again. Like, there, there's so much stuff you could do with them. Like, they're so customizable. Yeah, I mean, you could go so many different ways. The, you, you can make a cafe race out of a sportster. Yeah. You can make a dirt, a dirt tracker. You can make, uh, you know, like a, a scrambler. You can do like a racing one. I've seen like racing ones. You chop it up. With rear sets and stuff like that. You can make a chopper out yeah. of it. You can make a touring bike out. You can put a big seat, saddlebag, yeah. windshield. Just, I've seen people do crazy yeah, stuff. There's just so much stuff you could do with them, man. To me, I'm way too big for that bike. You are. You're too tall. I'm way too big for it. Even the Sports Therese, remember? I look like Magilla Gorilla. But even that bike, because that, that bike is just more so compact. Yeah, and it's ridiculous. Just, the, the weight is. It's just, just like, like my no. V-Rod. I was like way too big for that yeah. bike. I mean, that I'm, bike is more and more. Even my low rider rest, I think I'm too big for because I'm 6'3", I'm 230 pounds. I'm not a small person. I'm not saying you can't ride it but i kind of you know it's not my you know 
I look a little ridiculous. I fit I'm better on my, my, my touring bike. Yeah. So to me to get I'll a show. you know, I'll to show. get a night store like originally when the sports arrest came out, I thought about buying one for my wife to ride and then me to ride occasionally, but I'm too damn big for that. I told you. I was like, dude, are you, know, you like, no. crazy? When I remember when I test drove her and you guys took pictures, you're all laughing. <laughs> that was some pretty funny shit. That, that was pretty funny. Yeah. That was pretty funny. I mean, I wrote it. It, it goes. Yeah. And I wrote the one with mid control, so I, my, I, my knees were like this. I, I need to put like some more seats on it. I took it out that little I want to ride one ride. and I want to ride a Nightster. But I, I want to. Doesn't mean I'm buying one, but I want to ride them. I want to have one for a while just to put some miles on it. Just really test it out. It's cool. Yeah. So, look wise, the bike looks amazing. I, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna sit here and say, hey, I had the, the best time in the sports dress because no, I didn't. No. But it was such a the suspension. It's like oh, it was a short, it was such a whoa, short whoa, little ride yeah. that I couldn't, you know. I wanted to spend some more seats. I mean, you said the Knights are had a better suspension when you're riding through the canyons and stuff like that because the mono shock. Yeah. Well, uh, compared to let's say like uh, a sportser now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the suspension is definitely upgraded more on the Knightster. Suspension is way better, yeah. uh, more powerful. You got riding, riding moles on there. I mean, so you know we're we're getting rid of these old bikes, but I mean, what what Harley Davidson is offering you now with the nicer's, mm -hmm. it's a lot. Like, and it's a it's a lot of cool stuff. It's but, a, I mean, but they are pricing it accordingly too. It's not like you're getting a bargain. Like you're not getting no, no. You know, I mean, people are complaining about the price. But you're also getting a lot. You are getting a lot. I mean, the know? Sports Duress, let me tell you, between the Nightster and the Sports Duress, it's like a $2,000 price difference. Yeah. All day long, there's things I like about the Nightster and there's things I like about the Sports Duress, but for the two grand difference, the tech and everything you get and, and the power, I'd buy the Sports Duress all day long for two grand difference. Now, if it's a five grand difference, then we're talking, yeah, okay, maybe. I mean, the Sports Duress looks more badass. Yeah, and it is more badass. <laughs> yeah. It handles... I mean, unless you hit a bump, and then you're praying, cool praying for a chiropractor. But otherwise, it handles phenomenal, even with it's those big awesome. tires. It's pretty awesome. Um, all right, so we spoke about what we think about it. What, 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 what else do you think about? I mean, it had to happen. It had to happen. It was yeah, going mean, to happen. We, we, we all saw it. We all saw we it all coming. Saw it. We knew it was going to happen. You know, we actually thought it was going to happen a few years ago. And then they kept dragging them out, but we then... We spoke about it last year, when right? the video we were talking about. Yeah, we had, they were four, and then we were down to two. Yeah. So we knew once they went to two, that two's, two's going to be none. Yeah. And then they're going to come out, like I said, with two new models. I'm betting two, I mean, two new models. Let's see if I'm right. Two new models on Sportsters. I, I think... And hopefully I one's got a lower, lower CC. I think so. Because they I need something for the training classes now, too, because they don't have the, the streets anymore. Buell's have long been gone, the Buell Blast. They don't have any streets, they don't have anything. They need something for their training classes, too. Aren't, were the streets liquid cooled or no? Yes. They were liquid cooled, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. 500, 750. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they had the leaf blower exhaust, too. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So, I mean, I who, who knows? I, yeah, that damn fly. I, I, I think one or two more models for sure. Definitely. Um, I'd say two. I mean, next year's a big year for Harley. It's the 120th anniversary. So, I'm hoping Milwaukee baby we in there we're, we're hoping and praying that we get some good stuff out of it not just paint and no LEDs again <laughs> please put LEDs on the, on the 120th anniversary bikes yeah I mean it's not a big deal like everybody turn else signals. does it what turn signals. yeah turn signals LED, LEDs come on you know but and, and no just not just special paint do something I want to see some cool shit I think, I think. I mean, it's going to be a big year. It's a big year. And it's been uh, it's been a, a big two years. In the past two years, mm -hmm. they've been doing a lot. I mean, so you, you can't say they're not doing this, they're not doing that. They've given us so much in the past oh, two yeah. years. You got the Nightster, the Pan America, the, the Sports Rides, the STs, you know, the Lowrider, uh, you know, the Lowrider Lowrider ST. Yeah. You know, the, the Icons coming yeah. out. You know, the, it's just... No, it's not. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you're coming out with new models, you need to kind of kind of wow us a little bit. There, there's going to be a lot more. I think there's going to be a lot more. Yeah, and, I think um, so, too. I think it's going to be a good year. It's going to be a big year. Yeah, a big year. Um, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, we're going to be up Milwaukee, in Milwaukee, we're going to be in July. Milwaukee. Yeah, we're sharing a room. Me and this guy right here. We're sharing a bed, too, right? I know. I don't think my wife <laughs> should be there. Me and my wife will be sharing a room in a bed. <laughs> you, you'll, you could be out there with me. That's right. Uh, yeah, but, but we're, we're definitely going. Yeah, we're going to be out there. We're trying to make a few events right now. Um, maybe Daytona for March as well. I'm talking... You know, hopefully, in that and Laconia hundredth, uh, Daytona Laconia for his hundredth. No Sturgis, twenty twenty four. No, 
Um, and then Milwaukee is like what I'm kind of looking forward to for the year to come. So yeah, I'm doing four events for sure. Be there, be year. square. Last week I was at Indian Larry for the big Indian Larry block party. So if there's a video for that. Awesome video. Check that out. Just everyone going nuts crazy. in there. Pretty, pretty nuts. So check that video out. Um, you should have came, man. Yeah, you didn't invite me. <laughs> he, he's always invited. He's just like, oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay home. He didn't even, I got crickets that day. Nothing on my I'm phone. Gonna stay home doing nothing. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have lunch. I'm gonna go have dinner at 2 p.m. with my wife. Like, all right, man. Whatever. Four, four or five p.m. It's not yeah. 2 p.m. I'm an older guy. I eat early. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I think we pretty much covered everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like I said, the, the, it had to be done. Are you sad that's gone or no? Not really, because it wasn't my I mean, kind of bike. Lower, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I have a, I have a right now. I could buy a two thousand one from a family member. And I, 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 yeah, I know, but it's like uh, when you see the longevity of the bike. Yeah. And of that. I mean, name. it's kind of sad in that. Yeah, but they still carrying the sports their name yeah, on. Yeah, but the, the sportster is still alive. Yes. It's still alive. It's just different iteration. Just of it. the Evo, you know. We're, just like we're, when we're they went from Ironhead the, the Evo to yeah. Red Max. But I mean, you know, you're gonna see some stuff, and, it, and it's gonna it's gonna improve. And some things you might not like, and some things you might like. But people always hate new. No, I, I mean, yeah, but anything new that you're not used to, people are like, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't like that. It, it takes, you know, you gotta be open minded, man. You gotta be really be open minded mm -hmm. to stuff and accept things and accept change. It is what it is, man. Yeah, you I mean, know? I mean, people that were gonna buy sports shoes are probably a little upset or whatever. But you can, there's tons in the aftermarket. But people that weren't going to buy sports just probably don't care. They're more concerned about what they're nah, riding. I mean, I, I, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care, whatever. And, and like I said, like, go, when you think about the longevity and the history of the Evo Sportster, it's like, damn. Like, it's impressive. It was, yeah. it, it was really impressive. It's been around for years mm -hmm. and decades. And it's like, wow, like, damn. Yeah. It's like, shit, man. But, you know, whatever. I, I, I kind of don't care for it. Yeah, and if 30. I do one or one, I go buy myself one for three or four grand. Yeah, exactly. Honest, That's the best part about it. You could buy an older one it, for man. under $5,000. Yeah. You, really you don't can. need to buy a new one. Yeah. If you're going to spend twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000, not that everybody wants to see that. I get a 48. Mm. I get a 48. I actually remember, remember I said 48 and then I rode this when we did the freezing cold winter test back in yeah. February. It was like, damn, it was like, like 20, it was 20 like, degrees. <laughs> We were like, no, it was cold. It was cold. You, I said the 48, and then after we were done with the test, I, I picked the 883. Yeah. I, I mean, I just like the design of the peanut tank and the chunky tank. I like the longer tank, actually. I do. Because 62 miles to me on a motorcycle is not a ride. Yeah, I know, but it's the type of bike that you kind of build out. Remember we used it's to have not, group it's not rides? traveling miles. We though. used to have group rides, and 20 guys would show up, and we're like, okay, we're good, we're good. No sports, there's no sports, there's we're good, we can, we can, and then all of a sudden somebody shows up and we're like, damn it. 62 miles. I mean, we weren't hating on him because they had a sportster, but we asked the guy, like, how far can you go? He goes, 62 miles, my light comes on. Yeah. Huh? That guy has since upgraded to a Rogue King now, so. Ah. You know, but it, it, everything has its place. Like, if I was in the city, I'd want a small bike. I would probably have a sports if I was in the city or something. Listen, something if, small. if I'm down the city, that is enough. Highway riding? No. 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 But around town, commuting, yeah. and yeah. if you want to commute around the city, yeah. perfect bike to have, man. Yeah. Perfect bike. Yeah. Perfect bike. It's lightweight compared to other Harleys, but it's not really lightweight. But yeah. something small to get around the city. I, I loved mine when I had it. Yeah. I absolutely loved but it. But you weren't doing the yeah. highway riding you do now. And no, yeah, traveling. yeah, Traveling. Yeah. Like, think about it. You're going to ride the Laconia. You wrote the Laconia in this bike. You're going to ride the Laconia on the no, sports hell no. Hell no. You want to kill yourself. Hell no. <laughs> You could do it, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I you're a little older. If you were in your 20s, you'd probably be like, ah, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. I mean, I, it was a fun bike when I had it. I yeah. absolutely loved it. And know? it was your first bike. It was my first official bike, and there I am looking at my I mean, picture. it's a great first bike. It is. If you can move up to that. I'm not saying it's perfect first bike. It's a great one to have as far as status and, and being into the Harley thing and, and the customizing and everything. It get, it, it's, it's the, the Sporty is a bike that has gotten everybody into the Harley Davidson family. And, and has allowed people to step into that realm and then move up from there. And mm -hmm. It's been beneficial for the company. It's been, you know, beneficial for people who learn on it and go on to bigger things. You know. And that's why there's so many of them out there used that, so like he said, don't have that many miles on them because nobody's doing ton, hundreds of highway miles on them. They're no, not. Exactly. They're riding them local. Anyways, I think that should uh, sum everything up. 
thank you guys so much for watching uh hope you guys enjoyed today's video and um that's to have you back in the garage again sir <laughs> guys i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace Ready for this? Jerry? Huh? Jerry.